This is a popular type of question on the GMAT and the GRE. It's asking if X is greater than 60, less than 60, equal to 60, or if the data is insufficient to determine if uh, X is greater than or equal to 60. So take a second, try this on your own, and we'll do it together. I hope you tried it on your own. Now let's do it together. All right, so this side is 10, this side is 10 is one, and this side is nine, right? And uh, up here we have angle X. The way I did it, I imagined, let's say this point and this point, right? If we, if we ha draw a straight line from those two points, all right, what we now have is two triangles. We have that triangle up top, and then we have that triangle right there. All right, those are two triangles. And now let's see what we can uh, figure out. And that bottom triangle, we have a side that's one, and then we have a side that's nine, and then we have this side here. We'll call it Y. And all we can tell about Y is the following. If we have this side here is one, and then this side is nine, the only thing that we can tell about Y is that it has to be less than one plus nine, because there's a rule with triangles that uh, the sum of two sides has to be greater than a third side. So that side up there has to be less than one plus nine, which is 10. So Y, that, that side there has to be less than 10. So go less than 10, okay? That is uh, Y has to be something less than 10. Now, uh, we, let's go to that, that higher triangle, the, the top triangle, that triangle right there. This is the deal with that triangle. Imagine that that side on the bottom was 10. If it was 10, then we would have an equilateral triangle. We would have three sides of 10, 10, and 10. So if you can picture it here, okay, you would have a triangle that, it would look something like that where all of the angles are 60 degrees, okay? That is an equilateral triangle. If, uh, it, you know, if all of these are 10. Now, if you look at that bottom side, if we, if we make it smaller, uh, so for example, if that side gets a little smaller, whereas the other two stay the same, so let's say that side gets a little smaller than 10, let's say it ends right there, something smaller than 10, but the other two sides stay the same, what ends up happening is the angle up top gets reduced. This side is still 10, and this is something less than 10, then this, the angle, which is up here, the angle that opposes the smallest side would be the smallest angle. And uh, the other angles that oppose the bigger side would be bigger angles. So here, if we have, uh, let's go back to our triangle. If we have 10, 10, and then this one's a little bit less than 10, then this side, this angle here, which opposes that X, because that opposes the smallest side of the triangle, then that's gonna be the smallest angle. And it has to be less than 60 because if it were an equilateral triangle, all of the angles would be 60. And then uh, we just shortened that angle, uh, narrowed it a little bit more so that, that that side could be lower. So the answer is that X is less than 60 degrees. And we could uh, ascertain that for sure. All right, you want to get better at math? Do this one right here. Do this equation here. You're going to kick butt in math, okay? Keep up the great work, folks.